I was talking about in Salisbury girls also in action yesterday afternoon. The Falcons entering with just two losses in the Colonial League play. The Panthers, how about 6-0 and and have outscored their opponents going in 35-0. Erica Rose has the highlights. The Salisbury girls soccer team traveling to Saucon Valley Monday afternoon. The Falcons hoping to not only hand the Panthers their first league loss, but to be the first team to score on the defense as well. First half, the Panthers strike one minute, 52 seconds in. Annika Sunloff leads Brooke Reefen Stahl and she gets some help from the crossbar. The second goal of the game comes nearly midway through the first half. Paige Jones bringing it down the right sideline and she gets off the perfect pass to Lauren Bid, who is somehow wide open open right in front of the goal. It does not get any easier than that. Two minutes later, Jesse Evan gets this ball to Bin, who is right behind a sea of blue for the one-on-one, -on -one, and that is how it's done. 3-0. The scoring continues for Saucon Valley in the first half. The inbound pass by Bin, and it bounces right to the feet of Jones, who does not have to do much. And finally, Bin with the hat trick. The nice move to get off the shot. The defense gets back and will block it, but the ball deflects right into the net. 5 nothing Saucon Valley at the half. There will not be nearly as many goals in the second half, but Bin will have herself quite a game. Midway through, she scores her fourth goal to make it 6 nothing. And the Panthers have now scored at least six goals in six of their seven games. That's our motto, you try to score in the first 10 minutes. Um, I'll jokingly say to them sometimes, like, after we score right off in the first minute or two, I'll say, well, why can't we do it quicker? But it just sets the tone for the rest of the game. You get that early goal and you're in control. And we're not going to take our foot off the pedal. We're going to keep trying to score. But it does put us in a, a very good spot to win the game. We just do one, two combinations up the field. Our outside mids are really good with getting it up wide and crossing it in. And we just, we've been able to finish this year with a bunch of six nothing victories. We have some stud players on our team who um, are offensive minded. And we just feel as long as we can keep possession, um, we'll create opportunities and, and we've been finishing on them. Most of our goals are not really individual effort. It's just like being at the right spot at the right time. Like we know how to do one, two. Annika Sunloff, like phenomenal. Like always knows like how to get the ball to the right people. And like we practice crossing and it's just a lot of being at the right spot at the right time. Not only was the offense explosive once again, the defense continues to be spectacular for Saucon Valley as the team comes away with their seventh straight shutout in league play. It's been amazing. We did not expect this. We have a, a freshman starting in our defensive back and we have a freshman goalkeeper, uh, but we had them surrounded by some upperclassmen who bring great leadership and uh, communication to them and they've just been playing solid D and it, it's Definitely not one of the um, advantages we thought we'd have starting off the season, but it definitely has become a, a major weapon for us. This year we really just connected and really fast and figured out what works back there for us. And I don't know, we're just working really well together. One of the reasons why we've been so successful offensively is because our defense is maintaining possession and giving us the ball. Years ago, we were kick and run teams. Uh, we'd kick it long and we'd, we'd lose it most of the time. Where now we're, we're playing the feet. And, and, you know, it starts with our defense. They've been doing a terrific job of winning the ball, very quickly getting it to our midfield, and we transition and attack. On the scene at Falcon Valley, I'm Eric Rose, two sports. I guess when you're averaging six goals a game and not giving up any you're doing a pretty good job. And when you have Lauren Bin on your team, one of the best, not only in the area, but in the state of Pennsylvania, you're pretty impressive this year. Things going pretty well for those Panthers at this point of the season. We will step aside when we return. Darren Hilliard.